G'day fellas, how you going there today? Hopefully better than me. The blue foot. Anyway, I've got a new scotch here, Loch Lomond, original, single malt. So if you guys have tried this, I haven't, I haven't seen it before. Drink a few scotches, but not that many. Usually when I go overseas, I might get a bottle of that um, Dura Superstition or something like that, something decent. Nice single malt, maybe. Alright, here we go. All the way from Loch Lomont. Alright, cheers, fellas. Mmm. Yum, that's so smooth. You're waiting for the big, huge whack, but it's not. It's um, quite delicious off the tongue, dropping down the throat beautifully. So, I don't know about you guys, I like a little bit of straight scotch. This is 40%, which isn't too bad. Don't like those 38ers, they ship me. Alright. Clean nose, uh, bit of flavour, nice flavour, sort of uh, scotchy. Hmm, <laughs> worth having a visit to that distiller, I think. If I get up there, Loch Lomond. I have to go and have a, another trip to Scotland. Alright, uh, well this one's, um, they've been making it there since 1814. Okay, on the banks of Loch Lomond, famous of all Scottish locks, one of the world's natural wonders, I didn't realise that. Distilled from Scotland's finest and greenest, carefully matured before married in the finest oak cast for a perfect harmony of flavour and aroma. The result is an elegant, full-bodied whiskey with a smoothness, making this exceptionally easy to drink. Well, I just said that. Highland single malt Scotch whiskey with a distinctive background character with a hint of smoke and peat. I was going to say just a little bit of peat. Perfect anytime straight or over ice with or with a little water. So that's what I might do. I might just do the top up. And then, let's have a little bit of water. And that's about it. I'm using a, an Italian sparkling aqua mineral, sparkling Italian mineral water. Santa Vittoria. I think that one's the oldie one. Anyway. Ooh. Yeah, that's released more flavours in the water. Seems to do that. More smoke. More peat. More oomph. And uh, a lot smoother to drink. Alright guys. I'm just going to have a couple of quiet ones. So what you guys are up to. So this is going down really nice. Mmm. Yummo. I don't think I'll drop this one in uh, 12 minutes. That's why I dropped almost a whole bottle of something over in Thailand in 12 minutes. That's amazing. Got rid of the toothache. I haven't got one today. All right. Well, any travel stories? Um, Thailand, I went through about four bottles of rum, I reckon. One small bottle, four big bottles, one bottle of the Hong Tong, which is like a whiskey. Quite a few beers. Quite a lot of beers actually. A few different ones, that was good. But um, around the guest house mainly drinking Leo, Chang. I, I used to go up and get Tigers. And the Tigers are about the same price. And I'd go up and get a few of them and drink them. They, I reckon they're, they're a good beer for the same price as the other ones in Thailand. Alright, well I'm... I'm not drinking beers now, I'm drinking the scotch. Lovely.
Alright fellas, I don't know how this long this will last. Not long in my house. Cheers, I'll leave you to it.